Hey guys, it's Grant from Grant Bakes, and today I'm showing you something a little different. I'm gonna show you how to bake Brussels sprouts in your Challenger bread pan. I'll also share with you a few other things you can bake in the Challenger besides bread. For the Brussels sprouts, we're actually just gonna be using the base of the Challenger. We're gonna be treating this kind of like a sheet pan dinner. And so I'm gonna preheat the base of the Challenger in the oven as the oven preheats. So set your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. That is something in Celsius. And I have my pizza steel on the rack underneath the Challenger. That usually helps prevent a burnt bottom on the bread when I use the Challenger bread pan. So that's just how I have my oven set up, but you can just have the Challenger in there on a middle rack, that's fine. So I'm gonna preheat this to 400 for about a half hour. Okay, while the oven is preheating, I just had this one pound bag of Brussels sprouts. I'm just gonna cut these in half before mixing them with some other seasonings and getting them ready for the oven. So I'm gonna cut these in half right now. There we go, every last one cut in half. And notice I cut them this way, the long ways, right through that, kind of that root of the sprout. So here are the seasoned Brussels sprouts. There's a little oil, black pepper, and salt in these. So they're very simple. I like to season them in a bowl. And then when the challenger is ready, I just pop these into the challenger and start baking. So here's how I season these. I'm just gonna put these in a metal bowl before I prepare them. And into that bowl, I'm going to put just like a few sprinkles of salt. I'm gonna put my rough estimate of these ingredient amounts in the description of the video. So a good sprinkle or pinch of salt, a couple shakes or grinds of black pepper, and then two glugs of vegetable oil. This is canola oil, but extra virgin olive oil would be even better. So I've got all the ingredients just in the bowl. Just mix those up with a wooden spoon or with your hand. Then right before your oven's preheated and you're ready to bake, cut a sheet of parchment paper that's roughly the size of your Challenger bread pan base. Now you can skip this step and just bake directly on the cast iron, but for anything that's not bread, I like to use parchment paper just to keep it a little bit cleaner. But it's up to you if you wanna do that or not. All right, the oven is ready to go. Carefully pop down that parchment paper into place. Add in all of the Brussels sprouts. Stir those into as flat of a layer as you can. And then bake that for about 30 to 35 minutes. Really quick while that's baking, I wanted to share with you a few other things that you can make in the Challenger bread pan besides bread. You can cook a whole roast chicken in your Challenger. You can do cobbler if you want to make a dessert in there. You can even do like anything that's a sheet pan dinner, anything that's just designed to be made in a sheet pan, you can do on cast iron in the Challenger and it'll come out even better. So there's so many recipes you can try out in your Challenger. You might as well put it to good use when you're not baking bread. After watching this video, go ahead and follow the link in the description. I've got a blog post about nine different recipes that you can make in the Challenger bread pan that aren't bread. So go ahead and follow that link after this video. About halfway through the baking time, so I'm just gonna give these a stir. I'm gonna try to get some better brownage on both sides of the Brussels sprouts. And there we go. Like 35 minutes later, these Brussels sprouts are sizzling and ready to eat. 